Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be talking about the importance of physical health. What I know is that you can't have good mental health without having good physical health. The two are definitely connected. So I wanted to make this video to give you some tips on how you can stay physically active throughout your week. If you look at the Mayo Clinic, it'll tell you that you should have at least 30 minutes of physical activity per day. If you look up the CDC website, the CDC will tell you that an adult should have 150 minutes of moderately intense activity per week, plus about two days of strength training. There are a lot of benefits from consistently being physically active, right? It can improve brain function, sharpen your memory, boost self-esteem, increase productivity, lose weight, and the more muscle mass that you're able to gain, the more you will actually be burning fat when you're in a rested state. We're in the gym filming today because I wanted to show you a couple of exercise equipments that I use in order to stay active throughout the week. But I'm also gonna show you a couple of exercises you can do if you have no equipment and tell you some things that you can do just in your daily lifestyle, even if you're not necessarily working out or doing an exercise routine. Before I show you these exercises and give you other recommendations on what you can do to stay physically active, I definitely want to reiterate the importance of you listening to your body. Don't do anything that you feel like may be hurting you if you're recovering from any type of injury or anything like that, you know, and it's too painful. Definitely listen to your body. And I also want to tell you the importance of keeping annual doctor's appointments. Visit your PCP, your primary care physician, at least on an annual basis because being proactive is a whole lot better than being reactive in reference to being able to catch any early signs of any type of health conditions. But despite the report from the doctor, remember your faith always lies in God, right? The scripture that comes to mind is 1 Peter 2 and 24. Remember, it tells us, by his stripes, you are healed. So regardless of what doctor's reports you might get, and I'm not saying not listen to your doctors because God put people in our lives to help us and to help guide us and to give us information. That's what I'm hoping to do right now is to give information um, and follow your doctor's recommendations if you feel like those are the best recommendations for you. But remember, your true strength and your true healing always come from God. Before I show you the exercises you can do both with and without equipment, I told you I wanted to tell you some other things you can do to increase your physical activity, even if it's not necessarily working out. You can try things like when you go places park further maybe find the furthest parking spot that way it's a little bit more of a distance for you to walk from your car to whatever store or building you're going into another one is to take the steps instead of taking the elevator a good way just to get that extra cardio in playing sports that's another good one plenty of sports you can play basketball volleyball football you can swim so that's always an option you can go for a walk in your neighborhood or at the park and you can even garden even cleaning your house can be a good exercise and get you up to that physical activity level so just try to find ways to sneak in extra physical activity or cardio in your day but let me show you some of these exercises we're gonna do one of the exercise equipments that I have in my gym is a treadmill. They have different versions of treadmills. I know as of recently, I've been even seeing a treadmill that's just the bottom piece and don't have all of this top piece. I think they call it a under your desk treadmill, but whatever treadmill you got will work if you have one. Of course, they all have different settings. Mine's go up to 10. The reason why I like using my treadmill is because it's a way that I can get my physical activity on and kind of zone out as well. Many times when I'm on the treadmill, I got my gospel music going or I might have some type of podcast or oftentimes when I read my Bible, I actually have an app where it's read to me. So I'll be listening to the Bible scriptures while I'm on my treadmill. But it's a way to really kind of zone out you can learn other things, listen to other things, and still get your physical activity on. So this is one good way to get that moderately intense exercise on for the week. This is my second piece of equipment that I use. This is just my stationary bike. Um, it's a Weslo stationary bike. I know they have Pelotons and other bikes that are a whole lot more expensive than this, can do a whole lot more, got videos on it you can watch and things of that nature. This serves the same purpose for me. And this is another great way to get that moderately intense exercise in for the week. 
So again, just like the treadmill, you can put on your headphones or put on your music or even watch TV while you're on the bike doing your thing. I do this as well as the treadmill for at least about 20 minutes. That gives me about a mile or maybe a little bit over a mile, but I have many different pieces of equipment in my gym that I use. I wanted to show you my two favorite for cardio specifically, but now I'm gonna show you some exercises you can do if you have absolutely no equipment. So before I show you these few exercises that you can do with no equipment, I want to remind you that working out is all about finding out what works for you. Find out the exercises that work for you. Find out the best time of the day that works for you. One of the things that really help keep me motivated is working out with someone. So I often have my family in the gym working out with me. Today I got my youngest daughter, Kendall. She is going to help me show you how to do these exercises. So the exercises I'm going to show you are considered what's called HIIT exercises. HIIT is high intensity interval training. So these exercises that I'm about to show are exercises you can do with no equipment. And what you want to do is about two or three reps of these exercises in order to get the best benefit. One of the exercises that we're going to do today is a plank. So we're going to get on the ground and Kendall and I are going to show you what a plank looks like. This is an exercise that you're pretty much going to lay on the floor, put most of the weight on your forearms as well as your toes. And you're going to try to have your body be as flat as a board and hold that position. I hold it for about 60 seconds or a minute and I do three reps of holding the plank. So ready, Kendall? Yeah. Let's go. This is pretty much the plank position right here. It might look easier than it actually is, but hold this for 60 seconds, do that about three reps, you'll definitely feel it in your core. Another exercise you can do are squats. Again, remember HIIT, so high intensity interval training. So you wanna do about 10 squats, three reps of them, so a total of 30. And there's different ways you can do it. You can do squats with kettlebells if you want, with weights, this is just no equipment at all squats. And this is what those look like. We're gonna count five squats. You ready? Yeah. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. The next exercise we're gonna do, that's a hip exercise, are butt kicks. I'll count as 10 seconds doing butt kicks. Ready, Kendall? Mm -hmm. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So those are your butt kicks. I actually do them for about a minute and I do three sets of them because remember, interval training is the key. The last exercise we're gonna show you are jumping jacks. I think we've all been doing jumping jacks since uh, elementary. So I'm gonna count us out to do 10 jumping jacks. Ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So remember, it is progress over perfection. Listen to your body. A lot of these exercises I showed you with no equipment does put a lot of wear and tear on your knees. So if you know you're having knee issues or you're healing from any type of knee injury, you know, the plank that didn't have any wear and tear on your knees. So just find the exercises that really suit you, but try to get physically active. I always go for the goal of three times a week, but like I say, refer to the CDC, most importantly, your doctors to see what they recommend for you, but healthy mind has to have a healthy body. Peace out.